Hello folks, Michael Charitable Computing back once again and this time we're going to go over how to clean and check your RAM. So for this uh, project we have an open air bench here, I have a motherboard on here for DDR3 and I have 16 RAM cards that I need to check for a client before I install them into their workstations. So we're going to go through the process. Um, just for one card, though, I'm not going to bore you with 32 of them. All right, so I'm going to give you a little bit closer look and uh, be back in just a moment. All right, first off, we have our uh, Gigabyte. Uh, this is an i3 uh, motherboard uh, LGA 1150. So I'm going to take the 16. Uh, RAM chips or 32 gigabytes uh, in total and they're PC3 10600U unbuffered non-EEC okay I'm going to make sure that the memory card is pushed in nice and snug you also want to make sure that your BIOS is set into legacy mode when you're doing this notice that I have a PS2 keyboard uh, plugged in and this is because you don't have to worry about drivers especially with Linux now I have my Linux Mint USB here right here I have my momentary switch that turns on the system and as soon as you see the boot screen just start hitting the spacebar this will take you to the Linux Mint console we want to do memory test and this will enter in memtest86 even though it is not the best way of testing RAM it is the best way that I know of to test RAM without loading an operating system so this will actually check the integrity of the of the, the, the card itself and I do in one card at a time and if you notice at the top it is actually a Pentium CPU I have in there um, G3430 but it won't make a difference so I'm gonna let this run through completely at least one pass at a hundred percent and then we'll be off to cleaning them okay we're back and it has gone through the pass completely so there's no need to really let it run any further because we are going to now clean it. So go ahead and turn off the system. Let everything power down completely. And take the card back out. And we're going to clean it. So let's move over to the cleaning station. alright so here we are at the wonderful cleaning station i.e. my kitchen sink and we are going to now clean the RAM off the reason why we are going to clean the RAM off like this is because dust is the number one killer of electronics gotta remember dust is human skin pretty much or other particles but it is conductive so if any dust gets in between some of these capacitors it can blow out your RAM now as I have stated in my other videos before you don't have to worry about getting electronics wet you only have to worry about if it's wet when you run electricity through them so I'm going to take all 16 cards here and put them right in the water okay and this is just hot soapy water Dawn you know and take a toothbrush and just one by one, lightly brush it. Put it over here. And you kind of want to move quickly, especially with doing 16 of them. So, alright. I won't bore you with doing all of them at the same time, you know, on the video, but you see basically the process okay so now 
I have done all of the RAM and I am going to now rinse them all off. Take some hot water, rinse it off. Try to be careful not to damage the capacitors on them. And as you can see, I'm doing it pretty quickly. Alright, and they're all done. So now, we're going to go to the drying station. Alright, so, what we're going to do here is we're going to pat each one dry. Okay, just like that. And place it inside the dryer. Again, with this little tray that usually comes with the dryer. And I'll try to get you a good shot of them inside of here. You don't want them overlapping, you don't want them touching. Alright, just pat them off. And you want to make sure that they're not going to fall. Because if they fall while they're in the dryer, then they can get damaged and the pastors could be knocked off. And unless you're good at soldering, that pretty much is the end of the RAM chip. Okay. Again, pretty quick for all 16 at once. You just want to get the excess water off of it. Let the dryer do most of the work for you. I got these RAM in from a company. They were pretty clean already, but sometimes they're nasty when I get them. So, I'm just showing you the normal process that I do for any RAM. So I know the light's not the best in there, but you can see how I have them lined up. And what we're going to do is we're going to put them on a delicate cycle and run it in there for about 20 to 30 minutes. So that way it dries up all the water that is on the, the cards themselves. So uh, I'm going to let these dry and then we'll take it over um, when they're done. Alright, so... The RAM has been in there for about a half hour. I've let it cool off and dry. Final step is I'm going to take some rubbing alcohol, put it in this little thing, and I'm just going to clean the ends off with this. So, just want to. Stick the ends in. Clean them off and that'll take off any soapy residue that might be left on there from the cleaning. Alright. Rubbing alcohol evaporates pretty quickly. So you don't have to worry about that. And now we are going to retest this ramp. Alright, make sure the ramp card is in there nice and snug. Power it up. 
Same process as before. Start hitting the space bar. Go to memory test. And you can see that it's already starting. <laughs> so as skeptical as many people I'm sure are about uh, putting RAM into soapy water and toothbrush uh, cleaning it, you can see that it works just fine. So I'm going to let this go through 100% um, pass. I won't bore you with the details, but I hope that you have learned a little bit about um, cleaning RAM and checking it to make sure that it is actually working at you know full capacity. All right, folks. Have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you again soon.